So a couple days ago, I went on Instagram and asked you guys to send me questions just to know a little bit more about me. Um, and I got a lot of questions about BTS. So I'm gonna save those for the end, but I'm gonna try to get to these questions that you guys asked me. So here we go. First off, who was your favorite artist growing up? And for me, um, it's probably Eminem. Um, his lyrics were just crazy to me, his wordplay, his uh, bars. Um, and he also has real emotional songs and then a lot of, a lot of songs with meaning. Um, I don't know, his music just was, I was attracted to it and he was really aggressive. And for some reason I like that kind of style of rap. So I'd say Eminem. Now, how did me and my wife meet? Um, there was this app um, called Periscope. It was linked to Twitter. Um, I don't think it's an app now anymore, but you can get on there and live stream. I forget, I don't know if I clicked on her or she was live. So I jumped into hers and there wasn't like a whole bunch of people in hers. So we were kind of just having a conversation back and forth. Um, and I think it just got to the point where I just asked for her number. We finally met and then we were actually friends for a while. I actually met her dad too um, in the McDonald's parking lot <laughs> um, with her other friend. And then some time went by where we like just didn't talk. Like we just didn't talk at all. I don't know what happened. And then eventually we ended up telling each other we had feelings for each other and I don't know, it kind of just unfolded after that. Got close and here we are now. She's my wife and I have a child with her. <laughs> what age did I get married? Um, I was 24, so it was back in 2019. And Kira was 21. Um, what's funny about that is I proposed in um, February, uh, Valentine's Day actually, and you know, I was thinking that, you know, maybe we get married the next year in 2020, in 2020. <clears throat> but uh, Kira was like, why don't we try to aim for the end of this year? So it was almost like we planned it really, really fast. And it was a good thing we did because, you know, in 2020, COVID happened. So we would have had no wedding or anything at all. So um, it was a good thing that she said that. Hey, what did I want to be when I grew up? And am I doing it now? So, actually, I wanted to be a professional skateboarder. I wish I could have done it, so I'm obviously not doing it now. Um, it's a lot harder now, and it hurts a lot more, um, but back then, uh, I really wanted to, but then I got a job at McDonald's, so that kind of took away from me skating as much. Um, but I still try to do it here and here and there. I still have my boards in my garage, but I really wish I could have because that would have been a lot of fun, but I also like doing YouTube too, so. <laughs> but now I'm actually an electrician, a journeyman electrician, and that's my job. I actually love it because it's something different every day. Um, it's something exciting too, so. That's what I do now currently, but I also do wish I could have chased my skateboarding dream, but I still dress like a skateboarder, still wear skate shoes, skinny jeans, um, just love the style and the whole, the whole community still. Crunchy or mushy cereal? Now that's uh, tricky because crunchy is good and so is mushy. As far as the crunchy cereals I like are Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Honey Bunches of Oats, and Cheerios usually. Now the only mushy cereal that really works is probably Fruity Pebbles. You gotta eat them fast. You don't have a lot of time because almost as soon as you pour them in, they get mushy. If you walk away for two seconds, they're mushy. So I would say Fruity Pebbles and they're still good mushy. I don't really like Cocoa Pebbles. Maybe it's just me, but Fruity Pebbles, yeah, yeah. Current favorite artist. I have two actually. And it's J.I.D. who's um, on J. Cole's label, Dreamville. And um, West Side Boogie who is on Shady Records, Eminem's label. I don't know, their styles are just so different from every rapper nowadays. Uh, like their cadence, their flows, uh, their voices are different. The way they put words together and their rhyme schemes, I don't know, I just love everything about them. I try to stay up on everything they put out. And I think they're putting out albums this year too, which 
should be coming soon. So hopefully I get to hear those. Now you guys asked a difficult one, my favorite song. Do you realize how many songs are in the world? Ironic, cause he's my favorite rapper. Um, would probably be Lose Yourself. Really motivating song. Me and my wife's wedding song. Um, perfect duet by Ed Sheeran and Beyonce. Uh, honestly, I have a whole list, so I can't really pick one favorite, but those are just a couple. Now you guys asked, have I ever been to Europe? No, I would love to go though. I actually wanna travel a lot. The only places I've really been are Detroit, Indiana, St. Louis, and then um, for our honeymoon, we went to Jamaica. Now, going outside the country was amazing. Jamaica is beautiful. The food's great. The people are amazing. The dancing was fun. Um, so I think going out the country, I want to do a lot more. So Europe would be a lot, a lot of fun. What was my reaction when I found out my wife was pregnant? Now, it was planned. Um, the pregnancy was planned, but it was, it was something weird about that day because she usually texts me all day at work, like on and off, and she wasn't. So I didn't think anything was wrong, but I just thought it was kind of odd. So I got home from work, and as soon as I opened the door, she was standing at the table, there was balloons, there was onesies on the table, and she had the uh, pregnancy test. So I just like, I didn't cry or anything. Like I was getting ready to tear up, but I, I held it in, I held it in. Um, I like just kind of stood there like, no. Cause sometimes you think it's a joke. Cause people play, play, play pranks all the time. So it wasn't a joke, but I got closer and I was like, oh, this is real. And it was kind of like shocking the whole day. Honestly, it's still shocking that I have a child right now. <laughs> But yeah, my initial reaction was just kind of like, what? No, you're kidding. It was just a crazy moment. I will say that. I'm so glad though, I'm so happy. Where did my passion for music begin? Now, I gotta give credit to my dad because I gotta, I gotta find when the album came out. He had played me an album by Robin Thicke back in 2006. Wow, 2006, the evolution of Robin Thicke. And um, first of all, that album is amazing. He played me that album and I just, it was R&B, so I really started liking it. And then he started playing Maxwell around me. And then I don't really know what led me into rap, I guess, but I would say my passion for music and my ear for listening to music came from that, him playing that um, kind of style of music to me. And then I started branching out to, to rap, which I love now too, so thanks, Dad. <clears throat> what would be my dream collab? It would probably have to be J. Cole and Eminem. I just wonder what they would sound like together because they're really big head honchos in the rap game. I know Eminem is more on the aggressive side and super punchline wordplay and then also storytelling, but J. Cole is storytelling, but he also makes like radio hits at the same time. So I just wonder what kind of song they would do if they got on a song together, but I don't know. Hopefully it happens one day. What would be my favorite flavor? Ice cream. It really doesn't matter the brand. Um, but it would have to be mint chocolate chip. Some people hate it. I don't know why I like it so much. But if I did have to pick a brand, it would be from Graders. And it's because the mint's so good and then their chocolate chips are so big and thick. It's dark chocolate and the combination. Oh, I love it. I love it. So mint chocolate chip's the one for me. Now, this is the last question before I get into BTS. How did you and MCA get so close? We're not close at all. It's fake. Um, because I actually ask Kira sometimes, and I'm like, why? How did me and your dad get so close? She really doesn't know either. Am I maybe just? I don't know. 
we just started like hanging out more, then we just started going places more, went to baseball games a lot. Uh, then we started doing YouTube. He called me one day and said, hey, do you wanna do this YouTube thing back in 2020? And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? And then I think as we started going through the channel, um, our Get Sideways channel, I think we just got closer that way because we would see each other so much. We record almost every week. And then we also make other content outside of the Reactions channel is our Get Sideways channel itself. So I think we just, the bond just got close from us being together so much and we just clicked. I was never like nervous. I'm not really a nervous person. So I'm not nervous around him. I don't, I don't know. It's a guy thing. Sometimes you just click and sometimes you don't. Cause a lot of times with in-laws, it's some people have really weird relationships where they don't work out or like they hate the father-in-law or they hate the son-in-law, but we're good. We're good on this side. The BTS questions. Who is my bias from our live stream after the concert? And my bias is actually Jimin. Um, I think he just started growing on me recently. Uh, his voice did, uh, his character, his the way he acts around all of them, his dancing. I don't know what it was, but he got me he got me as my uh, as my bias right now. What is my favorite BTS song? Now you guys cannot do that to me. I've heard a trillion BTS songs already, and I have to pick one. I'm not doing it. Dionysus is amazing. Black Swan. Make it right that we just heard. Stay gold. Uh, fire. On. The list goes forever. It goes forever, literally. And I just, I cannot pick one, I'm sorry. But I gave you a few that I do, I do love. And I love a lot more, but I can't go all night. <laughs> Does Kira like BTS? I would say yes. Um, mostly uh, the songs she can, I guess, understand, right? Which would be Dynamite, Butter, Boy in Love. Um, what's the other song I'm thinking of? Fake in Love. Right, Fake Love, that's another one. Fake Love is actually one of my favorite songs too. But yeah, I would say she likes BTS and then my daughter does too. Uh, she dances uh, to Butter usually. Yeah, or Permission. Or permission to, permission to Dance too, yeah. She loves it when they come on. If you could ask one BTS member a question, who would it be and what would the question be? Well, I would have to ask my bias, Jimin, the question. And the question would be, where do you get your style from? Because I feel like his style is a little different. They're all different styles, but I feel like his almost stands out a little more as far as like what he wears, how he dresses. Also, where did he get his influence from dancing from? Like who were his idols that he looked up to? Like I know a lot of dancers look up to Michael Jackson, James Brown, like Chris Brown. Um, People like that, so I just wonder who his influences were as far as like coming to dancing. And yeah, his uh, his style, like his swag, where does he get it from? Like who's he, who's he kind of take after and as far as that, unless he just does his own thing, you know? Now, you guys asked a question that should be obvious. Would I ever go to a BTS concert? Of course I would go, of course. Just going to the live concert um, in the theater was fun. And I couldn't even get up and dance and jump around, but I was dancing in my seat. So imagine being at an actual concert would be crazy because I'd be out there screaming, dancing at, to the lyrics and everything. It'd be a great experience. And I'm sure MCA would be there with me. He would love to go too. He's at, he would scream too, <laughs> just like a girl. <laughs> so I'd say for sure, I would go to a BTS concert. Final question. I thought I had 20, I might only have 19. Um, what do you love most about BTS? For me, I love that as far as like the, the request you guys give us to listen to songs by them or videos, um, I never know what to expect at all. I don't think, oh, here's another BTS song that's gonna sound just like the other one, but I have no idea. I didn't expect Stay Gold to sound the way it did or uh, the most recent song uh, we just listened to, uh, So What? The song So What? It was like a uppity song. And somebody actually told me to listen to that um, 
on Instagram and we actually reacted to it. So, so what didn't, I didn't expect that to sound that way, but I love their diversity. Nothing sounds the same. They're also not afraid to try anything. I don't know, I just love, and I love their dancing. Their dancing is so on point. Um, some songs are aggressive dancing. Some are like, like the Black Swan kind of choreography. I love it. They are just a multi-talented group. They are a super group. And I see nothing but growth coming from them, like from here on. Like they're just gonna get better and better with time. I guarantee this album that I think they're dropping this year is gonna be one of the biggest albums of 2022. Um, and then a lot of people are gonna be looking up to them because they're breaking records. They're um, setting new milestones. They're selling out concerts every day. So they're definitely who you wanna be right now, who you wanna look up to. And I love that about them. They, um, they definitely stand out. They're not just your average boy band at all, not even close. Don't even know if you would call them a boy band. They're just a super group, we'll just call them that. I'm glad we got on this journey um, of listening to their music because it's, it's interesting and it's, some, it's a different sound for me also because I've been trying to um, have my ear open to a lot of different music recently. So I love, I love that we got, got into them big. You guys wanted to know a little bit about me and um, you know a little bit. Um, you know what I like to eat, the things I like to do, I w what I wanted to be when I grew up. And you know my BTS stuff and I'm gonna keep loving BTS from here on. And something you do know though, is that you need to comment, like, and subscribe in whatever order you do that in.